Hey everyone, how's it going? It is Kieran the Barber and we are back with another video. Today's video consists of a skin fade Caesar crop. So starting in, we are removing that bulk to give us a nice clean plate, a clean sheet. What we're doing is we're taking up a number three and we're removing that bulk. Then onto my trimmers, I'm using the Ergo X's. Just putting in that line and then I'm just gonna shave that away to start my fade. So now what I'm doing is I'm going to go work my way down in the numbers. So I started off with a three and now this is a one and a half open. So I'm just going to shave that up. And my transition goes from a one and a half open to a one and a half closed to then a one guard open to a one guard closed and then a half guard open, a half guard closed to no guard open and no guard closed and then a little bit of trigger play to completely remove any shadows or any lines or any imperfections just to smoothen off that fade. So now coming around the back, we go under the occipital bone, beneath the parietal ridge. Shave that just in with the zero. Come up and around, take that off and repeat exactly the same steps. And then with the top part of the crown, we just wet that down and do a little bit of clipper over comb. Just while I'm here guys, I just wanna say, I'm loving making these videos. I've been making these videos now for the well since we've been open for last like f this is the f start of the fourth week. As I say, I'm trying to get out two a week. I've still got another two to edit. So this one is today is Wednesday. I'm gonna actually get this one out tonight, and then I've got one ready for Friday. So I'm excited about that. I'm loving just posting work at the minute. It's fun. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Listen, com comment, like, subscribe. If, if feedback is always good, negative or positive. So comment what you think I'm, I should do differently, what you would like to um, know next. 
tell me if I'm doing something right tell me if you like what I'm doing and then I'll carry on trying to film that way I'm kind of fit in between filming and filling at the minute so just trying to work out what works for me and what doesn't and this this cut here when I filmed this and start editing it I was looking at it and I was like this is this is actually edited perfect this is Havid Havid is one of my um only Mexican customers actually weirdly enough um in the UK we don't get a lot of Mexicans so Javid Hernandez, he come in, he's been coming in now for the last five, six years. Um, and yeah, it's nice to do some like different kind of style hair, different textures, different techniques. And his hair fades really, really nicely as well. So that's always a bonus. But yeah, just to remind you guys, if you are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button because you know, why would you not? Like, why, would you, why would you not I've got kids to feed please please press that subscribe button <laughs>
So now we're going on to lining up the sides. Just tapping ever so softly. We're not taking that back, we're not taking that up. We're not cutting them eyebrows off. We're just tapping away just to slowly start to create that line. Um, and then what we're gonna do with the beard, we're gonna blend that beard in from the bottom upwards, sorry, from the top, top of the ear downwards. Don't know why I said that the wrong way around then. Um, and we're gonna give that a nice little taper as well. And then edge that round the back of the neck, make him look solid. Because what I want to do is I want to create that line underneath the neck to enhance his jawline. Taking down that scraggly beard, just making sure it looks really, really nice. Now on to cutting the top with a crop, which is what we're doing. So with a crop top, I like to start from the back and work my way forwards, cutting um, a little bit off, a little bit more off each time. So what that does is that creates, the crown will actually be heavier than the front because I want the back towards the front to be the feature point. So I want this 
part of the back of the hair to be messy, textured, heavy. And when it comes to his fringe, I want it to be short, nice, and straight. So that's what we're going with. I like to, hey, as I say in all my videos, I'm gonna repeat this. There's no right or wrong way of cutting hair. There is only your way. And if you find out that's easier for you and your client walks out happy, everyone is winning 100 percent you will be absolutely fine so yeah try this technique out if you want to make sure the back is longer than the top that's what we're doing right now and then on to cutting that fringe nice and straight so i'll cut i'll take down the fringe first wet so i've taken off the pretty much the, the heavy bits where it starts to either fold in on itself. I want the fringe looking nice and straight. So when I blow dry that down, I can then come across with my trimmer and trim the edges off and make sure that's nice and straight. But what I don't want to do is see these heavy bits here. If I blow dry that down while that's straight, they will flick out and they will cause the hair to then separate. So if I take these bits off now, when I then blow dry that down to straighten that out, they won't be so heavy that I'll blow dry straight and then I can take off the rest of the hair with my trimmers, which is not a problem at all. It's all about learning, doing, getting paid, and making that money. And subscribing to my YouTube channel. Do not always forget that bit. Subscribe. So now we're using a little bit of crazy ball hair texture sea salt spray we're going to spray that in and then we're going to start blow drying that forward giving that texture from the back forwards so then what i want to do is i want to make sure that fringe is laying nice and straight so when i go across with the trimmers the fringe will be nice and straight it will edge that out and it'll really bring the hair cut out So now we're going to do an enhancements to enhance the hair. This is makeup for hair as women wear makeup or anything like that, fake tan or whatever you want to call it. I love enhancements. For me personally, some people love them, some people hate them, but for me, I really, really get along with them. I find that it really brings out the haircuts, especially if you want to do like a photo haircut or anything like that, or your client's going out to the club, or he's going out to the restaurant or anything like that, he's meeting a new girl. These enhancements are incredible. I love them. It makes the beard really pop out. It makes everything kind of stand out that little bit more. And yeah, I just, for me, enhancements are really good. Comment down below if you use enhancements or not. Let me know if you're for them or you're against them. Me personally, I am for them. I like them, but I'll be honest, mate. If you don't like them, I ain't gonna shag ya. I ain't here to make friends. I ain't here for a church picnic. So either subscribe or fucking do one. Finishing off with a tiny little bit of hair powder. 
um putting that in the hair that is the got to be powder we are still waiting for ours we must be coming this week at some point so i'm gassed about that hopefully we get our products by the end of this week and yeah a little bit of hairspray to finish making that look like a solid 10 10 cut comment down below rate the cut 1 to 10 if you give it a 1 that's fine you know here's what it is i've had worse if you give it a 10 i love you forever and yeah so guys this is the end of the video this is the finished look what do you think please let me know in the comments down below like subscribe um do whatever you've got to do but if i don't know what i'm gonna say at the last bit but i'm gonna say if you've learned something today then i've done my job because it's all about learning it's all about learning stuff we're here to teach we're here to help and so at the end of the day if you are learning i'm doing my job and yeah i just want to say thank you for watching right to the end i hope you've enjoyed the video i've had a lucas aid so i'm a little bit hyper i'm gonna now edit my other video which the guy was a right fucking pan chordy song <laughs> Shit. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to do that now. Peace. King of the Goras.